What is going on guys and welcome back to episode 19 of the Crystal Palace career mode. We had a pretty successful episode last uh, time and we start off this episode with a game against Tottenham which actually considering it's only early on the season is actually quite a big game. You see I changed the team around a little bit by bringing in, uh, take out Deli Alley to play at Cam and I think I should leave it the way it is actually, I can't remember. Uh, but anyway, we're going against the game against Spurs and it's actually quite a key game if you look at the league table which happens very very soon Tottenham obviously a very good team doing really really well in fact they are doing so well that this actually very very early top of the table clash you see we are currently in a second they are currently top and it's a sense of you know winner goes top and if we draw Tottenham stays top and I might drop down a bit for for other teams playing and it starts off really quite badly with Chadley coming through here plays a wicked ball in to just Dembele who's just there to slot it away you'll see that under says we are the best defensive team are exceeding one goal now we can make that two unfortunately it was pretty much I couldn't defend against it it was a case of it was just too good 11 minutes in and we are losing 1-0 to top of the table which nothing to be ashamed of of course and it's a really really good goal I tried to force my way through for the entire rest of the game you know I've got chances I got good chances but in the end we did lose the game 1-0 which is very disappointing particularly seeing as how we are the home team things happen a lot right now home games aren't going too well then we travel to the Etihad Stadium to play a Man City team which is doing reasonably well not fantastic but they have some very very good players and it starts off in almost identical circumstances 11 minutes in and Zuccolini of all people is given the chance to just slot in the top corner it's a fantastic finish from the youngster and I was 1-0 down within 11 minutes once again Seems like deja vu happening all over again. And you see, I try passing it out. I'm just dumb. It gets intercepted. Pass to Zuccolini. One touch. And then just bang. Top corner. Spironi can do nothing about it. My defense even makes up. I should just clear it out of the box. Unfortunately for myself, that means I am going 1-0 down. But later on, right at the end of the second half, first half, sorry. Batchware is going to come through here. He's going to go on his own. He sees uh, Deli Ali coming in. who has a wicked shot, which just goes over the line. You actually can never really tell if he was over the line. They never do go on technology at any time in this game. But it was a goal, and obviously it's a video game, so it would know. And Delhi Alley is a guy which gives us a crucial goal to put us back on level terms with a very good Man City team, giving us a boost going into the second half. Obviously, we can go over here, push on to win, and we do get a goal in the second half. Baku Saka running through here on the break from a corner, and he just squares it over to Batshuayi. A little bit trampish, I know, but... Every three points is vital, every goal is also vital as well. And Batshuayi gets himself another goal for this season, playing really well. And Man City were a very good team, they were defensively solid, so I felt, okay, I have a chance here, I have to take it. So I squared it, and it was a pretty good finish in the centre of the goal. Almost got saved, actually, if you look at this ring play. If the keeper had dived over, he would have got it. But we do win the game 2-1, a fantastic result out at the Etihad Stadium. Very tough place to go. But we're going to the next game up against Middlesbrough, a game I felt we probably should win. You know, Middlesbrough and a really promoted team. They are doing reasonably well. They are in the top five, I think, at this point. And But I still felt, okay, yeah, we should get three points here. And it starts off in a really bad way for us. Again, 38th minute in. And Stuart Downing, of all people, <laughs> the worst player to concede for, puts it into the back of there. It's a, it's a really, really good finish. And I was 1-0 down to Middlesbrough, which was not very good. And I'm at home again, you know. I'm conceding goals left, right and centre at home. But I'm doing reasonably well away from home. It's kind of the reverse of what should be happening. But unfortunately, Stuart Downing has put Middlesbrough 1-0 up at Selhurst Park, which is not good for me. But then, coming into the second half, Wilfred Zargas and a massive run plays in. Deli Alley once again, to give us the equalising goal. Having a really good episode is Deli Alley. Giving us an equaliser against Manchester City and now an equaliser against Middlesbrough. And from this point on, I was like, yeah, I can attack, I can push out, I can get three points. And we can win the game. Deli Ali once again, coming up with a crucial goal. He did that all last season when I was on loan. I've got him on a permanent. And now he is probably my saviour. But unfortunately, I couldn't grab that second goal. We do draw the game one each, so it's better than nothing, I suppose. But against Middlesbrough, I actually expect to be picking up three points. Moving in to the next game, uh, the final game of the episode, up against Norwich City at Carrow Road. Again, an away match, so I was pretty uh, optimistic. You know, Norwich are a brilliant team, but I should probably be beating them. Blue Zaha playing in Olivier Giroud, who just smashes it into the bottom corner. Both my strikers are on pretty good form at the minute, which is definitely good for my form from last season when I was the lowest scoring team in the division. So hopefully this season we can not become that team. And the way it's looking is it's going to happen like that. I'm getting used to the players again. And it looks as if I'm going to be scoring a lot more goals. I'm definitely being a little less like making brilliant chances rather than I'm just taking shots more than trying to create like clear cut. 
and it's working out pretty well for me. But unfortunately for me, I make a complete balls up of this clearance from the goalkeeper, and it allows uh, Ricky Van Volswingen, uh, Ricky Van Volswinkel, I can never say his name, uh, to just slot in for an equaliser. It's a very poor goal to concede. I was so good to myself. I think at this point I was probably just cursing myself at, in my room. You know, I, it was just a really, really bad goal to concede. I should have took a touch with the keeper before clearing it. He was off balance. He ki kicked it straight to the striker, who just slots it in, and it is back on level terms. Disappointing goal to concede, but I still had time to come back and take a lead again. But unfortunately, near the end of the second half, a good chance from Norwich just falls very kindly to one of their players, and it is just simply slotted in for a very, very cheap goal. Very lucky for them, very unlucky for me, but my defending was really poor in this game. They had like three chances and they took two of them, which wasn't great, but at the end of the day, if I can't defend got chances like that, then I deserve to be losing games. And that's exactly what happened in this game. We did lose the game 2-1. So it, overall, it's not the worst episode. You know, we lost to Tottenham, lost to Norwich, but we did pick up four points against Man City and Middlesbrough, which probably should have been six. But you see how they're on the table. We are currently fourth in the table, having lost our first two games of the season. We're doing pretty well in terms of goal scoring. 12 goals scored, we only have six goals conceded, meaning we are on a goal limit of six. We're on 19 points, which is pretty good to see. But that is in the episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure you leave a like, make sure you leave a comment, and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all in another video.